Hello, hello. <laughs> I'm Carly Myers. I'm the founder of Work You Love. And what I do is I help people who are no longer happy at work find their joy. I help them remedy burnout and build their dream career or business. And what I wanted to hop on here today to talk to you guys about is how many of us can wake up one day and realize, like, and think, like, how did I get here? Like, just have that thought, like, how the hell did I end up here? How the heck did I end up here? And, and here is a place of disengagement. Here's a place of loss of passion. Here's a place of, well, I don't love it, but I don't hate it. I guess it's just okay. It's just fine. And in conversation with a lot of folks, you know, guys, I'm doing events, you know, of many, like, oh, gosh, I'm doing so many events every month. And I'm talking to hundreds of people um, about what's going on in their careers and what's going on in their lives. And the reality is, is that a lot of us are taking on this type A, this strategic, this got to get this done in this specific way, got to follow the plan type of way that we're not, it's no, that it, that no wonder we end up in the circumstance that we ended up. We've, we've gone by the books the whole way through. We've let the strategy side of ourselves sit at the table. But the number one thing that I think we're missing when it comes to waking up one day and being like, oh, how did I end up here? How did I end up with a degree that I didn't even want? How did I end up with a job that I didn't even, like how I just fell into this and now it's my career? It, the number one way that people end up this way is not allowing their emotional side, their core desired feeling, the way they want to feel day in, day out, that emotional piece of their personality at the table. So if you envision your mind as if, as if, um, it were a boardroom, as if it were a meeting with a bunch of different aspects of your personality sitting at the table. What's sitting at the table is strategy. What's sitting at the table is fear. What's sitting at the table is, well, what the parents think, what my boss thinks, right? But what's not sitting at the table is your higher self. What's not sitting at the table is your emotional intelligence. This is why almost always the number one thing that I, the very first thing that I work on with my clients is emotional intelligence their core desired feeling. What do you want to feel day in and day out? And they use that as a compass to make decisions. Is this going to lead me into my core desired feeling? Yes or no? Yes, let's keep going. No, abandon ship. We end up in these careers that aren't in alignment with us because we're not allowing our core desired feeling to run, to, to have a voice at this table. You know, your core desired feeling, your emotional intelligence should be communicating with strategy should be communicating with fear, should be communicating with all of these other voices that we've got going on because that's, if we don't allow our hearts, our emotional intelligence, a spot at the table, we will end up in this circumstance. We will end up disengaged at work because the one thing that we're passionate about is missing. And so I just want you to think about, you know, where in your career, you know, where in your past, in your current situation, have you not allowed the emotional intelligence to be part of that conversation, that mental conversation? And where can you start in implementing it? Um, because when we implement that piece, that so important piece, we can make huge differences. And I know, I know, I hear this continually. Well, I'm afraid if I let my emotions run the, the, the game, if I let the, my emotions run the way I'm approaching my career, well, I'll end up poor and jobless. The reality is, is that our strategy muscles, those strategy muscles, that little person on that, in, the, in that chair in the boardroom, the fear muscle, they're too strong to ignore. Emotional intelligence is never going to take over. You just need to allow it the space to sit at the table. You're going to, if you add those two, if you let those two things become parallel, your decisions are going to become much more aligned. The jobs you apply for are much going to be much more aligned. The career, the business that you build is going to be much more aligned. You, you know, everywhere you go, no matter where you go, you're always taking yourself with you. And so allowing that piece of yourself to show up so you don't end up in the circumstance, the same circumstance time after time after time is so key. So let me ask you this. Let me give you a little homework assignment, which is 
think to yourself, where in my life have I not used my emotional intelligence? Have I not listened to my gut? Have I not done that? And where in my life can I start listening to it now? Are you applying for jobs? Are you looking for a way out? Are you um, building your business? Let's start adding that, that seat back in our mental table. All right, guys. Um, and if you're looking for some more support, you know you can always reach out to me. Um, DM me, comment, um, and we'll, we'll hit each other up. We'll talk. We'll talk strategy, but we'll also talk this piece that I'm, talking, that I'm saying is so important, this emotional intelligence how strategy and emotional intelligence can get you to the career you want. So I love you guys. I hope you have a great Saturday and I will see you soon.